Our channel, we're hoping to inspire people that despite any challenges you face, despite, you know, the adversities in life, get out there and follow your passion. Yeah, even if you can't stand up, you can still do it. Literally. <laughs> so thanks again for watching. Uh, and a new video will be out next week, every week. Hey guys, I'm Brian. I'm Nicolette. And we're the Crystal Lovers. We're taking it back to Arkansas. We're gonna talk about our two favorite mines that we went and visited, and where we were able to find some amazing crystals. We went to Ron Coleman's and Twin Creek. We broke this video up into four main categories to be able to help you guys decide which mine would be better for you to visit. Or decide maybe both would be better for you, I guess. All right, so stay tuned. We're gonna run through the four points now. Number one is accessibility. This obviously is very important to me. I'm going to discuss a couple of different things in this category. So the first point is camping. This is super important when you're crystal mining because you want to be able to have a great early start to your morning and not have it be too hectic. Ron Coleman has a campground right on site. It's safe and it's comfortable and everyone's really nice there. It's $25 a night, super affordable. So we really like that aspect and we stayed there for two nights and we really liked it there. So Twin Creek does not have a campground on site. Mount Ida has campgrounds around. The closest one you're gonna find is about five miles. So not as convenient, but still doable. Second point is how easy it is to get there. Um, so Ron Coleman's is right off of a main road. You're not gonna really endure any type of crazy dirt roads. Whereas Twin Creek, if you have a lower car or you don't have a car with four wheel drive, it might be a challenge to get up certain parts of the dirt road. Well, I really enjoyed the experience because it was super rustic and it really just made me feel like we were going to a mine. Um, Next point is parking. Um, they were relatively the same. Ron Coleman's, you park in a parking lot and then you go up a small hill and you're at the mine. And Twin Creek, you kind of park right in the mine as you drive up and then kind of walk down into the mine. So both have super convenient parking. They're both right there. The last point in accessibility I wanted to make was environment, like overall environment of the mine. At Ron Coleman's, I was able to freely move all throughout the piles. So their piles are kind of structured alongside a very well-maintained path, whereas Trin Creek was more like a natural mine surrounding. I totally didn't mind that, but I just had to rely on Brian more to help me navigate the mine and I kind of stuck to digging more alongside the road where at Ron Coleman's I was able to kind of navigate around the mine in my mountain trike. Point number two to consider when we were doing uh, the assessment of Twin Creek and Ron Coleman is the experience. So when considering the experience you want to consider the price. How much are you paying? How much are you getting out of it? Uh, Twin Creek and Ron Coleman both offer the basic package, if you're just going in there, $25 to be able to dig in the main pit. Uh, Ron Coleman, as far as it's advertised on their site and in the public, uh, they do not offer any package outside of that. You can buy crystals in their shop, but to dig your own crystals, it's going to be $25. And at Twin Creek, it's $100 each to dig your own pocket. So there's that two options, the $25 and then the $100 pocket dig, which we really wanna go back and do. There, you'll expose a pocket, and unlike some of the other mines in the area, uh, you get to keep everything you want out of there without paying an extra price. Um, some of the other mines, once you dig out the pocket, if you get any extremely valuable crystals, you have to pay on top of what you paid if they're valuable to be able to take those home. Twin Creek lets you take home every crystal you find. For the experience, you have to consider the setting. So what are you seeing when you're there? Ron Coleman is more of a commercial experience, we would say. It is beautiful. If you look around at the mountains, it's it's a beautiful experience. Um, but Twin Creek takes the cake when it comes to the setting. It's, it's more of a, you feel like you just entered a commercial mine. Um, you put on your hard hat and you are a miner now. That's how I felt at Twin Creek. At Ron Coleman, it's more of families are there digging. Um, it's 
you know, not the main pit. It doesn't seem like it's a main pit. So it is just pilings brought from the main pit there. And you can tell, uh, though it was a, a beautiful experience at the mine, it was a different experience than Twin Creek. It's more for those who have kids, um, those who want an experience where they just, you know, dig in pilings and find the crystals. If you want the experience where you seem like you're in a mine and you're a miner for the day, I do suggest Twin Creek, uh, just based on the setting. Or considering the experience, you also want to think like, all right, am I going to have a lot of crowds? Ron Coleman, at least the weekend we were there, was packed. You couldn't dig alone. Uh, and that's something, you know, some people like. You get to get the experience of those who are more experienced. You get to, you know, talk to people, meet people. We love that part. Twin Creek, we dug alone the whole time. If we wanted to dig with other people, we had to go find them. Uh, so that's one part of it that we um, enjoyed about Twin Creek. Ron Coleman, we also enjoyed that we met people. So that's a preference. And the last point for the experience is going to be hospitality. So Ron Coleman was a very welcoming experience. I don't know if they're more developed. Um, the gift shop there was clean. It was pristine. They had a lot of offerings. They had the restroom inside if you needed it. Um, very welcoming, very informational, educational. They pointed out everywhere you should go and any questions you had, they would answer. Twin Creek, it would seemed more to the point. Uh, I didn't have any questions for the workers there, but I do think that uh, Ron Colvin was more welcoming in that sense. So if you're an amateur, you're a beginner, you don't know anything about crystals or how to find them, um, Ron Colvin might be the place for you. If you're more of a rock hound, um, or if you more, more so want to do it yourself, Twin Creek might be the place for you. The third point is crystal quality and size, and how easy is it to pull those crystals out of the ground? So we found some really amazing crystals at both of the mines. So one thing to consider is that you'll probably find a more abundance and bigger crystals at Ron Coleman's versus more unique specimens at Twin Creek. Ron Collins, we found some of the biggest points we've ever seen in our lives and some amazing, beautiful clusters with amazing points that are super clear. Where at Twin Creek, we found blue phantoms. We found crystals with windows, double windows. We found a Lemurian crystal and so many other just beautiful, unique pieces that we were super shocked to find. So how easy was it for us to pull these crystals out of the ground? At Ron Coleman's, it's super easy. They direct you, as Brian said earlier, they direct you to the mine, you go look in any of the pilings. Um, obviously, if the truck is dumping new pilings, you have the opportunity to go run and know that that's fresh pilings to search through. At Spring Creek, you're in a mine. Um, you can pretty much decide where to dig, but it's gonna be a little bit harder to know exactly where to dig to find the best crystals. Number four. Before we get to that, make sure if you liked our content, you liked the video, that you leave a like on the video and you leave a comment below telling us your favorite mine in Arkansas or your favorite crystal mining experience in general. And don't forget if we've earned your subscription to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell if you want updates on future videos that we post. Let's go. Number four is did we have fun? That's most important, right? That is most important. I do think um, Nicolette should talk about this. <laughs> Go ahead. So we think we had more fun at Ron Coleman's just because of how accommodating and sweet everyone was there. We met so sure. many awesome people. We learned so much about crystal mining while finding amazing crystals. We had fun like just in the gift shop looking at their amazing crystals. They have like this giant crystal outside that you can literally touch and feel their beautiful energy from. There was a big crystal there we were silly in front of. Yeah. This it is was, a big one that we found at You Rock can feel Hall. the energy from their big crystal. And we just like, I don't know, we felt like family there. Twin Creek, it felt like a true mining experience. But overall, I think if you have to pick between the two, I would definitely pick Ron Coleman just for family, fun aspect for of fun. it. For fun. And not knocking Twin Creek, we're gonna go back there. We loved it. Yeah, we're gonna do the private dig, right? The private dig. But it seems more oriented towards those who are serious. They wanna, you know, go out there and live or die based on the work that they're doing. Um, you know, you have to really put in work if you're at Twin Creek. You have to be ready, ready to do that. And uh, you have to rely on yourself, basically. Maybe uh, be a little bit more knowledgeable on where to dig. You're not gonna true. be like pointed in a direction or yeah. anything like that. 
So overall, go to Twin Creek, go to Ron Coleman, get off your couch, go do it. Uh, our channel, we're hoping to inspire people that despite any challenges you face, despite you know the adversities in life, jump over those hurdles, get out there and follow your passion. Yeah, even if you can't stand up, you can still do it. Literally. So thanks again for watching. Uh, and a new video will be out next week, every week.